So there's Grandpa on the ladder, and there's Ziggy eating food. These cats are brave cats. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.24 a.m. and I just put two platters of food out. It's the homemade raw food with some crunchies on it. There's four cats eating. I'm not sure exactly which ones. I'm on a really tight schedule today. Have to be out of here for a nine o'clock appointment. Have a lot to do before then. So I put their food out and I'll check back in a little while. If the platters are empty, I'll put more out. It's 4.15 p.m. It is super windy out, and I was out here cleaning up the patio, and Goldie, if that's gonna be her name, was looking at me, and she was looking for food. Like, she came up to the table, and she was looking for food. Oh, who's this, Richard? There's Richard. And so I put some food out, but it's so windy, so I had to put it under one of the table legs, and then three other cats came out, so I was like, well, there's four now, so I put two platters out, and hopefully they'll come back and eat it. Look how pretty Richard is. You're so pretty, Richard. You're a handsome boy. You're so handsome. And let me show you what's going on here. So I went to refill the water bowl on the side of the house, and there's like a big piece of vine on the ground next to it. And I was like, what's that from? So I looked up. And there's this whole mass of vines that are just hanging off this tree. So last summer when I had all the trees trimmed, um, there was a ton of vines. Um, I think they're all like wisteria vines. And they took out what they could take out and then there was a bunch left. And they've since died. So now there's a bunch of dead vines up in this tree. And what's happening is with the wind, I guess the wind knocked some of them down but like right there in the middle there's that whole bunch of vines that needs to come down so i moved the water bowl away from underneath it um i moved it a few feet over and i'm hoping it does not come down on anybody like it doesn't come down when a cat's underneath it um and i'm hoping it's light and not heavy since they are vines the ones that i picked up were really light because I know that when like a tree limb falls, it's really heavy and that, that could do like a lot of damage and injury. So I'm hoping uh, this doesn't do damage or injury. I'm just hoping it stays in the tree and we'll see what happens. It's just that with, with all this wind, I, I think it's been knocking stuff down. And then here you see that other vine that's hanging between these two trees. Yeah, they're all like tangled up and everything. So we'll see what happens. It's 6.51 p.m. I just got home, pulled into the driveway, and there was a cat laying on the driveway, and then there was a cat in one of the bushes. They went running to the back here, and here's two cats. It looks like they're waiting for dinner. So the two platters from earlier are empty, so I'll put some more food together for them and then I'll bring it out and put it on those platters. It's still really windy and uh, it's quite cold. And I was going to open up the shelter under the house for them just in case they wanted to use it. I might still do that, although I gotta feed the inside cats, gotta do all the cat chores inside and it might be dark by then because it starts getting dark right around now and I was out longer than I thought I would be. So it ends up that my car which is in the shop, is still not done. I dropped it off 9 a.m., had a 9 a.m. appointment. It's been there all day. They finally called me like an hour ago, and then they told me that they don't know what's wrong with it. They've been checking it all afternoon, and they can't figure out what the problem is. So it ends up I'm going to leave it there overnight, and hopefully tomorrow then they'll be able to um, fix it, and then I'll be able to pick it up. So that kind of messed up my original plans for the afternoon. So that's why I got back later. It's 8, 12 a.m. I put a platter of food out maybe five or 10 minutes ago. So it's homemade raw food with some dry cat food. And there's three cats right now. I'm not sure which ones. 
um, they are. I'm going to put another platter out and then oh, I'll check in with them later. I just put another platter out and when I go outside they run toward the back of the yard. And I noticed on the platter that they're eating from, they eat all the raw food first and then they leave the crunchies for last. Maybe they don't like them as much. I don't know. So there's another platter and I'll check back in a little while. I'm still getting ready for my day. Grandma and Grandpa are supposed to be visiting today and I'm trying to get some stuff done before they get here. So we'll check in with the cats later. It's 8.45 a.m. The landscapers are here. They showed up this morning and I texted them and I said avoid the back area behind the patio. So hopefully they're not going to come back here and disturb the cats. But look at that. Both of the platters are licked clean. So I'm going to put some more food together and put it out there for the cats. So those are platters number three and four. And that makes a whole pound of homemade raw food. So they went through an entire pint, which is fine. It cost me about $2 a pound or less, um, which is cheaper than even buying Friskies. And I put some more of the dry food out there. And they look like they're filling out nicely. I've noticed that on the security camera footage over the past few days. So um, several weeks ago when they started coming around, they were really skinny and bony, and now they look like they've filled out nicely. I don't look at them and say, oh my gosh, they're starving, because obviously they're not. They've been getting fed on a regular basis. And when I was talking to uh, the woman from the rescue and also animal control, they said the best thing to do is to get them on a set schedule so that they show up at certain times, for example, for breakfast and for dinner, because then it should be... Um, easiest to trap one of them. So yesterday was the first colder night that we've had this season. It got down into the 40s. It was pretty cold inside the house too. I almost put the heat on, but then I was like, yeah, I'm not going to put the heat on yet. I'm going to see how, how much I could tough it out. So um, hopefully it'll warm up today. And I got to check the weather to see if the nights are going to be warmer, if yesterday was just an abnormally colder night or what so I don't know where the cats go at night I have no idea where they go they don't stick around here all night um, on the security cameras I do see them occasionally like walking in and out of the patio area but I don't know where they go Hello, Stella. okay okay here's Simba come on here's Simba over here here's Stella over there good girl Good Simba. It's 5 p.m. And here's little Richard. And there's Ziggy. She's eating some food. I put the plate of food back there because Grandpa is doing some work around the patio, and I've been doing some work around the patio. Oh, and who's in the back? Someone else is in the back corner. Do you see them? I'm not sure who that is. I think it's the one I really don't have a name for yet. So they're eating their food, and this is the ladder where Grandpa was working. So Grandpa was on the ladder, and Richard was hanging out in the corner there just watching him the whole time. And here he is now. Look how brave these cats are. So like when Hydrox and Ditto were here and Grandma and Grandpa were over, they used to run out of the yard. They wouldn't even come back for dinner until like a while later. But this is the first time that these cats are here while Grandma and Grandpa are here. So they're really brave. Look at this, this is what's going on. So Grandpa's working, he just got on the ladder. And there goes Richard under the fence. But he's gonna come back out, cause he's very nosy. Grandpa says he should be called Snoopy, because he likes to snoop around and see what's going on. So there's Grandpa on the ladder, and there's Ziggy eating food.
These cats are brave cats. So this is the custom cat shelter that's been under the house and it hasn't been pulled out in a long time. I would say maybe over a year. So I just pulled it out and um, there was actually uh, a blanket inside of it and a training pad. They weren't dirty, but I just tossed them out anyway. Um, there is some carpet on the bottom. Looks like I'll need another piece of carpet here. But my goal for today is to um, disconnect this camera and to put a new camera in there. A nice thing about this shelter is that it is big enough for multiple cats. It's actually quite spacious and I think six or even seven cats could easily fit in here. So if all of these little kittens uh, were to go in here at once, I think that they would fit. I mean, it would be tight. They would obviously be cuddling up with each other, but it would work. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.